I really want to make something a little bit weird, a little bit alien or abstract, a bit Lovecraftian. So, welcome to vlog number two. Things are going to get a little bit weird. And my friend Riley's here. You might be wondering how he achieved this cool draping cloth effect and all it is is just a bit of old bed sheet and some spray adhesive. I'm running out because I've done a lot of takes of this. And then you just cover the bed sheet in the spray adhesive making sure that it's drenched and looks really sticky and feels really sticky. Also you should wear gloves for this because if you don't uh, you're going to be sticking to everything for the next day or so. Anyway, that's the decision that I've made. And then you just need some sort of form. In this case, we can use an old paint pot and you just drape the cloth on the surface. And when you do this, you can sort of align the cloth folds exactly how you want them. And drying time is maybe about five minutes. And when it's dry, it will be absolutely rock hard like this one. Like I could throw this in a box and not really mind about it unfolding or uh, breaking in any sort of way. Ah, originally we also tried using tissues, but it just didn't really soak in the spray adhesive. So it's still sort of brittle and you can still see some of the tissue texture. So it wasn't a very good look. Anyway, yeah. Oh, so I also have a big monolith now. I 3D printed this with my dad using his massive 3D printer that he custom made. Now, this print sort of warped during the printing process. All the edges are a little bit wavy, but I think that's a bit of a happy accident because it looks really cool, but also we're going to be using color shifting paint. So it give lots of different surfaces for the light to bounce off of. Anyway, I gotta get back to doing my Necromunda stuff. Ah, so I've also got band-aids all over my thumbs because I was making a Necromunda gang last night and uh, yeah, I'm terrible with the knife. Here's some pictures of what I made. I made my own ground cover for this project and it's actually really easy to do. You're going to need some sand, some oxide pigments and some tile grout.
You have to be really careful with the oxide pigment because it will basically stain everything you love. So be careful. Originally for the base I was going to use these jungle plants, but instead I opted for these more realistic looking trees. And I think that was a smart idea because it sort of gives the monolith a sense of scale. It gives the eye something to compare its ginormous size to. And on top of that, I think using realistic looking trees is sort of scarier as well because this monolith isn't out in the jungle. It's much closer to home. I mean, this could probably be in my backyard. It's not, but it could be. Hmm. Recently, one of my favorite t-shirts shrunk in the wash, but my girlfriend made me this lovely dice bag out of it. It's got stars on it, which is really, really cool. And it's got a nice padded bottom, so you can put it on the table and the dice won't be too loud. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. 